Hey everyone, this is Eli from Checkit.com here with an After Effects tutorial on everyone's second favorite day of the week, Effects Friday. And today I have a nice tutorial for you. It's uh, pretty simple. Here's the example. Um, it's basically just text being written out like it's being, you know, drawn on with like a stroke and uh, slow pan with the camera in 3D space. I mean, it's very simple. Um, but a lot of people don't know how to do this so I'm gonna show you my method of doing it and this was actually made in like less than five minutes so it's very fast very uh, quick and it's very cool so it's a nice little intro if like you don't know what you're doing you wanna impress your girlfriend or your boyfriend or you know your mom if you're like mom look what I can do in After Effects and like draw her name out she will have a heart attack trust me I did it to my own mom it was very sad um, I'm just kidding. I'm rambling on. Let's get to the tutorial. <laughs> so I'm going to be including the project file for this and uh, also the example and the paper grunge texture right here for free. Just check the description. But uh, for all the hard work that we do, please give this video a like, guys. It just helps out so much. So, um, yeah, let's get to the tutorial. So you're going to open up After Effects. Go to this blank canvas area here on the left. Double click it. Find the included paper grunge texture um, in the description. So, yeah. So now we're gonna go down to this little icon down here. This is a new new composition, and I'm gonna use full 1080p settings, guys, because you check it's amazing like that. Uh, 1920 by 1080. You can go right here and just find 1080p and background black eight seconds, because I don't want it to be too long. That's what she said. <laughs> just kidding okay hit OK and now you have this uh, blink area so let's drag and drop the paper grunge into this blank canvas area let's rename it real quick by clicking on it and then hitting enter and we're just gonna call it BG alright very uh, very simple and it looks kinda dull right now but it's whatever go up to the text tool and now we're going to type out uh, whatever you want to write in I'll just use check it like before because uh, it's very original no one no one ever uses this except for us so uh, that's kinda nice and let's scale it up oh and this uh, this what is this it's called over Atlantic City it's free you can go download it um, I don't know if I'm gonna include it I guess I could include it if you guys really want me to I can include it in the download but I mean it's too late so I'll just include it whatever so make it as large as you like and that looks pretty good. Try to make it center by eye. It doesn't really matter. No one's like, oh my goodness, it's off one pixel. I mean, I guess there is some people like that, but screw them, all right? Because we don't care about them. Because this is our tutorial. So let's uh, keep going. <laughs> keep rambling, rambling, rambling. I, I don't know how to say it. Uh, go, click on to ch check it. Go up to effect. Then we're going to go generate. And then the way I do it is I use a stroke. And I know you're like, Eli, why use a stroke? I will tell you, you you need to be more patient, guys, okay? I'm going to tell you right now. So go up to the pen tool, and here's where it gets kind of fun. You're just going to draw along each one of these letters and create masks for each one. So basically, I'm going to start right here. Boom, click, click. And you can make this as perfect as you want. You guys could take your time and really get perfect. You know, you can, uh, I'm just clicking and dragging. Then if you hold control, you can move the next point to wherever you want. Because if you don't, look what happens. Boom. You see that? It makes a weird curve and then it's, it just doesn't work. So you, you have to hold control to click and drag that point to the next point. And then, you know, just keep going. I mean, you can be really precise here or if you don't want to be I don't blame you I'm just gonna go fast but here's what I want to show you when you get to the end make sure you hold control and then click off of it that creates a mask for that okay and then just do this for each letter and what you're gonna wanna do is draw it the way you want it to be written out so I started right here so it's going to follow this path all the way down there so it's gonna do -do 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 -do. and so I'm gonna make the H start from the bottom you don't have to make it like this boom so it's gonna do that so click off of it then I'm gonna make it start over here then come across to right about there click off of it then it's going to draw from the bottom of or the top from this one 
go down to the bottom, but I'm going to make sure that I get a pretty close. There we go. So click off of it. So that's going to draw up, over, then down. So I, you can just uh, make it very interesting. You know, you can start with the middle of the E if you want. I'll do that just because uh, I'm not going to be saving. Well, I will be saving this. This will be your guys' project, but it's whatever. So then I'll make it draw that. Click off of it. Then I'll make it draw the line down here to make it follow all the way through. Click off of it. And uh, I'll just do this C really quick. And I'll make it start from the bottom on this one. Oh, oh, control Z it. See this? Boom. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're a perfectionist like I usually am, this could take a good 10 minutes to do, depending on how long the word is, too. Um, so, yeah, just keep going. Click off of it. Boom. Boom. Make it follow on down. Click off of it. Make the eye start from uh, up here. Make it draw the eye. Click off of it. Then draw the bottom. Then draw the top from the right to the left. Yeah, that's interesting, right? Boom. Boom, click off, boom, boom, done. Okay, so now when you have all of your masks done, this is where it gets interesting. Let's go back to our uh, move tool. And we're going to hit in here, just select mask one. Then you're just going to select all masks. And uh, you can do stroke sequentially, which is what I was talking about. It'll start with C, then go to H, or you can untoggle that, and it will draw them all at once, but in a very interesting manner. It's very cool. So you can mess around with that, but um, yeah, I'm going to just keep it with stroke sequentially. And here's what you're going to want to do. You're going to go down to this paint style. You're going to go reveal original image. Then you're going to make the brush size... Uh, pretty large and then you're going to keyframe the end so we're gonna make it start at the beginning put the end all the way down to zero then you're going to go to where you want it to finish let's uh, go 615 and go 100 percent so that just made it keyframe to where it draws like that and let's turn if you hit this you can turn off the masks and then you can see it actually being drawn and here's the thing guys um the brush size the larger you put it the more it cut it it shows the original picture but the problem is is watch the K right here okay where I'm, I'm pointing if you don't do it right watch oh, okay that is that's actually pretty good but if you do it too big watch what happens see it starts revealing the other layers that you did before it even gets to it so that's why you need to keep you need to find the perfect balance where it keeps enough to where you're happy with it but it doesn't chop out your whole entire you know text you can do this with any text guys I'm, I'm just showing you the the basic manner really but um yeah that actually looks pretty good except for the eye right there but I mean this is just a demonstration I could make it skinnier if I want that's what she said but I don't really need to because it's a demonstration. I'm just giving you guys the tools once again to succeed. So once you get that, then uh, it's keyframed and you're pretty much done. Now you just got to beautify it really. So let's go to check it. Make sure you hit F4 to bring up the blending modes and let's just uh, set it to overlay and it'll get that kind of cool like water paint look if that's uh, what you want to call it. Okay. And then uh, Let's just make it pretty real quick. Let's right click, go new adjustment layer, and then we'll just call it, um, I'm, I just selected it and hit, hit enter, and then I'm just going to call it colors. Okay, so let's select it and then go over to the effects and presets, and I'm going to use some magic bullet stuff because I love magic bullet stuff, guys. It's just, it makes things fast and easy. I recommend you guys buy it. It's not too expensive, and especially if you're getting into movie making, you guys should really consider starting to buy the stuff you want. Okay, so then I'm going to put some mojo on this and just make it look amazing. So let's mojo it up, really. Yeah, really mojo it up. Let's do um a more bluish tint. Keep the balance more towards blue. I like it. I like it a lot. I love it. Okay. And uh, let's not bleach it. So I like how that looks right now. So uh, yeah, you got the look. I taught you guys how to make it reveal itself. And it's pretty awesome. But now 
how did I do that nice, you know, from left to right pan in 3D space? Well, I'm going to show you, person that asks so many questions. Right click, go to new, we're going to go new camera, and we're just going to make it the default settings. I mean, it could be 50 millimeter, it could be 35, it really doesn't matter. I'll just do 50 millimeters just to, you know, so you guys can practice going to different cameras. Hit OK. And now you're going to go, you're going to do the drop down menu going to go transform and uh, we're going to keyframe the position but before we do that let's enable all the layers into 3d space and then let's uh, zoom out real quick and select the colors adjustment layer and you'll notice it's just around that but here's the thing guys when you start moving this in 3d space since it's an adjustment it just applies to that little space so what we're going to want to do is zoom out with using the scroll wheel and we're going to select it and we're going to hit S for scale and we're just going to scale it up not that huge wow that's that was enormous that looked like I'm not going to say it it's too easy for her. that's what she said joke <laughs> so um yeah so that's what I want to show you guys there just uh, scale up the colors and then uh, and also before I get to keyframe the position here's something else You'll notice that if you do it really quick, if you uh, move these keyframes close together, I'm going to get to the keyframes by doing this uh, drop down menu on ch ch check it. Then we're going to do um, effects, then go to the stroke, and then you see that where we keyframed it. If I do it like this, and then I hit, um, let me zoom in, and hit zero. If I scoot it into like four seconds, that means it's going to be drawn out in four seconds which is actually pretty quick and it doesn't look too good just uh, I'll just stop it right there like look how fast that was drawn out it just just really doesn't look too good did I even wait where's the other keyframe what the freak that's really strange why is it right there so let's actually move this down to zero I don't even have the it fully keyframed isn't that weird guys I'm sorry I'm, I'm such a noob right <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is it does it really too quick so let's move this out here to 615 because that's actually I, I, I found a balance uh, between 7 and 6.15 seconds it, it looks pretty natural so yeah I just want to cover that real quick if you're if you're like Eli it's going too fast how do I fix it that's how you fix it okay so now time for the position let's keyframe it let me zoom out since we made it the same size let's move it all the way let's move it all the way this way until I'm trying to just match this corner up right up against it just so it gets a really dramatic side angle yeah looking good that looks good enough to me now watch this angle it would be drawn out and it look like it's coming from the left which is really cool but we are going to keyframe it so go to the beginning hit the stopwatch to create a keyframe then go to about where you have it finished which is eight seconds and then we're going to do I'm just gonna type in 1000 real quick just to get close to what we want Let's zoom out and now we're gonna match it up with the other side so just keep going positive until it almost touches oh yeah that looks good so um, I'm gonna let this pre-render real quick I'll bring you guys back in a second alright guys welcome back check out what we made it looks nice and the pan goes all the way around and it's in 3d space and it just looks awesome so I hope you guys learned something today. This is uh, just the basics. If you spend more time on it, it really does look better. I just wanted to teach you guys really the basics, you know. Um, you, you really do need to find that perfect balance between what's too skinny and what's not. Like that K, it's not, I should have smoothed that out. The same with the C and stuff. I should have smoothed those out and took more time, but um, this was just an example. So don't hate me too much. <laughs> so yeah, guys, um, I'll include you know with music and stuff I'll, I'll put the the final video in the at the end of this video and you guys can see what it turned out to be like but yeah um I think it turned out really cool 
And you might even want to take it a step further, but and like add like depth of fill to the sides. But I mean, I think this looks really cool with it all sharp. So it's whatever. So um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this basic video, and I love you. I know Brandon loves you. So I guess I'll see you guys next Friday, and you will see Brandon on Tuesday. So just stay tuned and keep uh, keep supporting us and stuff, cause it makes us feel good. Give it a like. Give it a thumbs up, share it, do whatever you want, but in the end, just be our friends. Because we love you, you love us. Let's take a ride in the magic bus. I don't know why I just made that rhyme, but yeah, I'll leave now. <laughs> See you guys later.